I'm going to teach you or show you um, step by step, guide you step by step on how to copy traders on the BitGet exchange. Okay. If I come in here to the BitGet exchange, I click on copy trade here. Whatever I'm doing here on the app, on, on the web version, you can do it on your mobile app. All right. Maybe after now, do a run through on the app so that if you don't want um, to use the web version, if you don't have a laptop, on the desktop, you can equally do that with your phone, okay? So if I come in here, let me just move the, if I come in here, you see a lot of traders, okay? There are hundreds of traders. If I click on next, it takes you to the next page and the red. There are hundreds of traders you can actually copy. You see that some of them are doing very well, okay? You see this person, the uh, return on investment is about 153, okay? Um, you see the total profit and then the copiers um, profit and the rest. You see all of those details here. This person has made over 340, um, 48%. This person has made over 1000%. Okay. So uh, you see all of these details here. You can go ahead and copy the traders. All right. And just follow the on screen instruction and you are good to go. So, what it simply means now, the copy trading option is only for features trading, it is not spot trading. Okay. It is only for futures trading. What that simply means is that if the trader you are copying lose a trade, you will equally be losing a trade, okay? If the trader you are copying um, wins a trade, you are equally winning a trade, okay? So we are going to be looking at the copy trading today and how you can start copying traders all on autopilot, okay? You don't need to do anything, no technical analysis. You just come in here to the big gain exchange copy traders and when they make profit, you are making profit for yourself as well, all right? So first you need an account with BitGet Exchange and that account has to be verified. If you're in Nigeria, you can use your NIN or use any other government issued ID card to verify your account. The same thing happens um, any other country you are, even if you're in the US, you can actually participate in this and equally, um, you know, start copying traders using the BitGet exchange, okay? So once you get your account verified, the next thing is to log into your account. And once you log into your account, you need to make some, some deposit into your account, okay? I, I want to assume that you already know how to, you know, you can deposit USDT into your account and use it for this process, all right? So once you come in here, you want to go to the copy trade option once again. So if I click on the copy trade option, okay? You, you see this um, tab here, you can use this, okay, to filter out whatever you want to trade. Okay, you have the ranking, the followers, that is the number of followers the traders currently have. Okay, their return on investment, their total profit and losses, okay. You can, you know, um, filter that with that, okay. And then the copiers. The copiers, P and L, P and L simply means the copiers profit, okay. Um, for instance, this person, they are telling you that the copiers have, if, if this person had, okay, out of 100 persons, you have 76 who are already copying this person. So what the total um, loss that these um, copiers have incurred is around 4,000 plus, okay? That is because this person has minus 77%, all right? And the same thing applies there. Then for the profit, those who are making profit, you see that those who are copying this person has made over $40,000 plus, okay? And this person has made over $30,000 in profit trading, all right? And then this person has, has a space for over 1,000 persons to copy him or her. And out of this 1,000, you see that 999 are already following the person. So it's only one spot that is remaining. Once you take this one spot, it means that you can no longer copy this trader, okay? So it is not just coming here to copy a random trader. You need to be selective. You see that some traders are incurring losses. Some are making profit, okay? You need to follow who know route, okay? To be able to, you know, profit. And that is exactly why um, I'm actually showing you this, okay? So we can go with the ranking. Even when this person is incurring losses, okay? You see them ranking first. And then we can go with the followers, okay? If I click on followers, it shows you the numbers of followers, all right, this person has, all right, this person who has made over 919%, okay, had 1,000 people, this is one of my trader, the trader that I use most of the time, okay, uh, I will show you how to get some of these traders who are very good in the market, and then you see that people who are copying this person has made over 121,000, all right, in profit, Okay, you see this person as well. This person has over 600 and something. This person has over 1,000. 
and 49, 40, okay, 1,493% in profit. You see the copy as the profit they have made, all right? So all of these are, you know, you just go through the website, okay, and uh, or the exchange and just copy traders. You can, uh, you know, sort them out by their um, return on investment, okay? You can sort them out by their return on investment. Um, the fact that this person is losing a trade doesn't mean that the person is totally a loser. Okay, it could happen that with what is happening in the market now, this person is actually, you know, losing some trade at, at assistance. Okay, um, this can be made up. All right, you see this person over three thousand three hundred and ninety nine percent. Okay, so you see a lot of things here, um, a lot of you know statistics and the rest. So to copy a trader, once you see a trader that you like, okay, once you see a trader that you like. Okay, with all of this high return, right? That is because we are sorting this with, you know, the total return and the rest. So if I go to total profit and losses, if I click on that, you probably see a lot of traders doing very well here, okay? You see a lot of traders doing very well here. For instance, if I like this person, okay? If I like this, um, hey, um, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce this. If I like this person, I want to copy this person. First thing you need to look at is if there is a space for this person, okay? Now this person has a space for 1,000 traders, meaning that 1,000 traders can actually copy um, his own trade, his or her own trade. And out of the 1,000, it is 99, 999 are already copying this person. So it is only one slot that is remaining. Okay, it could even happen that before I even finish copying this person and that person has taken that spot. So if you want to copy any of these, once you see a trader you like, you want to copy the trader, you go ahead and select the trader, okay? Once you select the trader, you are going to see every details, okay? The total transaction this person has transacted, okay? You see the total transaction here, you see, you know, um, the person joined like 270 days ago, okay? And then this trader already, you see that out of that 99, already the 1,000 is completed, meaning that I can no longer, you know, um, follow this person, okay? Now, the next thing I need to show you is how to get traders, good traders from the platform without, you know, just uh, um, stressing yourself. You don't need, what I normally do is I don't come to the copy trade here as, and, you know, randomly select traders, okay? Now, um, the BitGet exchange itself has those they regard as top traders or star traders, okay? There are those who are star traders. There are hundreds of traders here, but there are specific persons who are stars in this space. That, that is those who are good, okay? How do you sort that? If I come in here to this option, to the menu option here, okay, you see here where they say star traders, all right? Now, if you're a professional trader out there, okay, and you want to start um, trading on the BitGet exchange, you want to allow you know, people to copy your strategy and earn equally percentage from them, then you can come in here and apply as well, all right? So if I come in here and click on start traders, all right, this is where you can apply. You can become a trader by just applying, okay? You just become a trader and apply. And when you become a trader that people can be copying your trade, you have a lot of goodies you earn from the big data exchange. So if you're a guru out there, come and try your skills here. Yeah? As people are copying you, you are getting percentage and you're equally getting a whole lot of bonuses from the BitGet exchange, okay? You see all of the details there, the benefit, what you stand, you know, to gain as a trader from this platform. But my own concern here is to copy traders, all right? So if I scroll down here, you see where they say star traders, okay? So these are people who are doing currently among the hundreds of traders they have, these are people that BitGet has selected that are doing very well right now okay so i may not be able to copy um few persons here for instance i cannot copy this person because the trading room is filled of 1000 out of 1000 okay i can't copy this person because the trading room is equally filled up 1000 out of 1000 you see that uh you see reason why big get selected these persons as star traders okay their rooms are always filled up before you know it okay i can actually copy this person there is still space out of 1,000, this person has 785 who are currently following him, all right? This person, 500 out of 500, meaning that I can no longer copy that person, okay? So I'll take note of this trader, all right? So take note of that trader because we still have space to copy that person, all right? So basically, these are the people um, big get regard as star traders. And out of all of these, it is only this person who has space. 
So I'll copy this person's um, details. Okay, just copy it and then I'll come back to the copy trade option. And here on the search bar, I'll go ahead and paste that person's username there. Okay, so once I paste it, remember it is this VU, DU, and the rest, not A, V, U, D, U. So this is the person, this one, and the person has, um, you know, 785 out of 1,000. So if I want to copy, just click on this. All right, so I can equally go ahead and look at the statistics. These are the coin the person is trading currently. All right, and then the orders, if I click on orders, you see the history, okay? The trade, the person has closed in profit and then current trade. Um, I don't think, okay, there are current trades right now. You see all of these trades are all in profit. This is massive, okay? All of the trades there, they are all in profit, all right? The person has not closed this trade yet, but what I normally do, okay, if I check my copy trading, once I come into my copy trading, what I do is, if once it is in profit, in a, a good profit, even if the person has not closed the trade, Okay, you have the option to close the trade from your end. That is one good thing. You have the option to close the trade from your end. So well, like this one now, if I was copying this trader already, this is making around 48%, this is 90%, okay? 94%, 82%, 79%. I would have just been closing this trade, all of them in profit. And guess what? Though this person is trading on, on the cross mode, but the leverage this person is using is very low. 5x leverage all right so once i look at all of these details i see that this is somebody i want to copy so the next thing i need to do now is to just you know go ahead okay so i'll go ahead and click on follow so just go ahead and click on follow here once i click on follow it brings me back to this page okay now you have two options. This is the simple way, okay? You just go ahead and tweak and copy the person. But if you want to start changing some of the things here, you can switch to advanced mode, okay? And if you switch to advanced mode, let me go ahead and switch that, all right? It has switched. It gives you the option of setting your take profit, stop loss for each of the coin that this person is trading. For each of the coin you need to. You see, these are all the tokens that this person is trading. These are all the tokens you're trading. Let me switch back to the basic. I like using the basic because um, I don't want to start tweaking all of this. Okay. These are all the coins that this person is trading. You cannot copy. You can imagine you can't copy this person with $50. All right. These are all the coins that this guy um, or the lady or I don't know who this person is. These are all the coins that this person is trading. So to copy this person, um, if I want to copy all of this trade, I can go ahead. If I don't want to copy, Let's say when the person trade SR, um, SR, I don't want to copy, I'll just go ahead and uncheck this. If I don't want to copy the field USDT, go ahead and uncheck it. If it is a NG, ENJ, um, USDT, any of these that you don't want to copy, go ahead and uncheck them, okay? If you want to copy only one trade, you can uncheck every other thing and leave the only one you want to copy, okay? But once you have funds on your account, you can actually copy all of this, all right? So that is it for that. And then here it will tell you um, to fill in the USDT you want to that. This is going to be when a trade is taken, how much will you want to you know, enter that trade with? Is it $10, $100, $20, okay? The person may use $1,000, but it will copy based on the margin you specify there. So the minimum is from 10 to about 30, um, sorry, 3,000, okay? That is what you can copy at a go. So um, since the minimum is 10, I'll go ahead and put in 10 here, all right? So the next thing is um, you have the option to set take profit and stop loss. If I click on this, okay, you can set your stop loss. Uh, when, when do you want to set your stop loss? Maybe when it goes against you by minus 50%, okay? Or when it goes against, then why do you want to take profit? If it goes in your favor by plus 100%, you go ahead and specify that, okay? The maximum follow amount, is it, how much do you want to be the maximum follow amount? Is it 5,000, 50,000, 100,000? Go ahead and specify that here, okay? Whatever you have, you go ahead and specify that here. If I make, make this $50, it will still go, all right? So once I put stop loss and take profit, you don't really need to do this, okay? If you don't put stop loss and take profit, it will be using the, the trader's own, the person you are copying. When the person closes the trade, wherever they said they are take profit, when it closes, it closes on your own, our own end as well, okay? When it hits their stop loss, it equally closes on your own end as well. So it means that 
you can actually copy without setting this, all right? But if you don't want to be skeptical and you know um, set all of this, this is where you do that. You go ahead and then click on confirm. Once you do that, the next thing you want to. Now that advanced mode I switched to will enable you to tweak all of this trade one after the other. But because I'm using basic mode, whatever setting I do here, apply to all of this, okay? So I click on next. Once I click on next, it tells you this is you know what you've done. If you have put take profit and stop loss, you see them here. If you're okay with it, go ahead and click on confirm. Okay, and um, I didn't point that you needed to transfer money from here. Okay, if you don't have money first, before you even copy the trader. Okay, this is already copying. I think I have some funds on my officials account. If you don't have funds on your officials account, you need to transfer funds. Okay, from your spot wallet to your officials account. You need to transfer some USDT to your, you know, officials account for that to work. All right, I'm already copying this trader. This should work because I do have some funds on my account. Um, it's not loading up, but let me show you. Um, let me show you how to actually transfer that funds before you click on the next. Uh, I don't know why the screen is blank. Okay, it's loading up. All right. Um, all right. So I'm already following this person. So if I want to follow the trader. I'll just go ahead and click on this on follow and I will, you know, stop following the trader. Okay. I'm already following the person. And then the profit share ratio is 8%. Some of the traders here take 10%. This trader is actually fair enough. All right. So the profit take, it means that whenever the person makes profit for you, 8% of that profit comes to the trader who you are copying. Okay. So if you don't have funds on your officials account already, all you just need to do is to go ahead and click on transfer funds. Okay, and then you can transfer USDT from your spot wallet to your USD, um, to your officials account, okay? That is after you've you know, deposited some funds into your account, you can transfer it from your spot, okay, to your officials account. That is how you go ahead and copy traders. Now, if you don't want to use the, if you don't want to use the leverage that the trader is using, Let's say the, the trader is using 10x leverage, 100x leverage. You don't want to use this, this leverage that the trader is using. You can set your own leverage. When you set your own leverage, even if the trader is trading with 10x leverage or 100x leverage, when they copy triggers on your own account, it will copy with your own leverage setting, okay? The settings that you have, that is what it's gonna copy with. So if I switch to the advanced um, option again, all right, so here, you see that it says margin. What is the margin? Do you want to use the um, follow the trader's margin? The trader means that if the trader is trading with, let's say, 25% um, of his account balance, it equally copy from your own account 25%, okay? If the trader is trading with 1,000, 2,000, whatever the uh, settings the person has is the same thing that will be copied on your own. But if you want to set your own, you can go ahead and select USDT, okay? and um, put in your own amount, all right? So here for the future settings, okay? If you want to follow the, the trader, all right? If you want to follow the trader, this is where you said, um, you follow whether the person is using cross mode, isolated mode, any of the mode the person is using, if you click on follow the trader, it will copy the exact thing that the trader is doing. But if you want to set your own, okay? If you want to set your own, you go ahead and click on future settings. When you click on future settings, it means that you need to come to your official trading account, okay? You need to come to your official trading account and set your leverage, all right? So for any of this coin, for instance, this person is trading BTC, 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 USD. I don't really need to copy this because I cannot trade USD. I can only trade USDT, okay? Um, this is for those in US who have, you know, the account linked in the account, they can trade USD, okay? So I can uncheck any of like Bitcoin Cash, USD, I don't need it. Ethereum USD, I don't need it. I only trade the USDT pairs, okay? So what I need to do now to be able to customize this, I'll come in here to the features I can go ahead and open, you know, the features um, um, trade option, okay? So if I go ahead and open that in a new tab. So once you open this in a new tab, close this, let me close this, okay? Um, this drop down, you see all of the tokens you can trade. If you don't want it, you can just click, okay, the arrow here, um, the arrow here to, you know, hide it. So for BTC USDT, if I want to set my own leverage to copy this trader first, I'll come in here and change it from, okay, 
oh, I just set it initially. I guess I am already following a trader, so I cannot switch. And that trader, as I showed you, is is using um, you know, the the cross mode. So I can't switch that because any moment from now, the trader will take a trade, and it will be you know showing up here. All right. So once the trade is triggered, so if I use my own, this is because I'm using the traders, and that is why I cannot change it. If I'm using my own, I'll just come in here, okay, and select isolated. And then for the leverage, okay, click on the leverage and select the leverage you want. Okay, just bring it to what you want. If it is 10S leverage you want, go ahead and confirm that. Okay, select the leverage and confirm that. So whatever setting you do here for BTC, that is exactly what is going to carry. That is if you are using um, your own um, settings, okay? If you are using your own settings. So I will do that for BTC, do that for Ethereum, do that for each of the coins that I want to copy the trader with. You go on and set your own, but if you use the traders on, everything will be copied as it is. All right. So basically, that is how you copy traders. These are professional traders who are actually making gain. All right. I'm copying this trader already. I hope that by tomorrow, if a trade is triggered, I should be able to make profit um, with that. Um, the trade has not triggered yet. If it triggers, you will see it here. Okay. If I scroll down here, you will see all of the positions that are traded here. So I have the option to close it you know, set stop loss and the rest once the person start trading and I'm copying that trader, all right? So that is everything I need to explain to you on how to copy, you know, um, traders on the BitGet exchange. That is everything you need to know about BitGet copy trading. And I believe you should be able to be, you know, making some profit from this, okay? Network is very bad. I'm sorry about that. I will make the recording available, all right? So if you cannot hear me, I'll make the recording available for you. I'm so sorry about that. So if you don't have a BitGet exchange already, you need to go ahead and sign up for one. I will leave a link in the um, chat, okay? I will leave it in the video description or you leave it at the comment section, okay? So that you go ahead and sign up for one. Get your account verified. And if you want to copy a trader, Kudos to you, you can start profiting from it.